Um, no, we've already asked that. All right, well, it seems like they're willing to join us, but not quite yet. Isabel, how are you doing? Looking forward to a bit of rest, if I'm honest. It's been a long century. Fair enough. You know what? Honestly speaking, fair enough. You and uh, Aelin take all the time in the world. If anyone bothers you, just throw them into this bottomless pit that we apparently have access to. Is that a piano? Why do we have a piano in the pit? Asterion, your duty for while we're gone is to fish that piano out of the pit and repair it. Will, if he needs help tuning the keys, get Gale to do it because I don't trust you to string together two rose knots. And if you ask me what a rose knot is, well, that's just indicative of how stupid you are. So for right now, we'll stick with Halson because something tells me we won't be getting a lot of extra stuff or we won't be doing stuff with Halson for the foreseeable future after we get out of this land. So the goal at the moment is probably just head over in this direction to see what that's all about because we still do need to do that. Halson, why are you stepping in the holy fire? You'd think as a arch druid you would know not to step in the holy fire and it doesn't seem like the shadow curse is affecting us so that's pretty fantastic if i do say so myself or maybe it's just the fact that we have the giant glowy lantern mace thing maul what what is it's the mace of lathander it is technically a mace right it is a mace okay so yeah it, it is classified as a mace which is good the road to Baldur's Gate is up ahead. Is it? No turning back once we start down that road. Oh, lovely. Can we go back to Area 1? No, we can't. Because it has struck me. I never did actually kill that lava elemental in Grimforge, which... Uh, I completely forgot that it existed, and it doesn't seem like we can go back to Act 1 area, which is unfortunate. What is happening? Oh, the Git Yankee, right. I remember. I, make the same mistake. I remember. You might remember the last time we were over here. They're like, oh, beep, 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 the thing that you have that, uh, uh, that, uh, finds Git Yankee, they'd be there. The, the Quanith. That's what it's called. That's unfortunate. Okay, well, we've walked into an ambush. Wow, that has a lot of, they have a lot of HP. Chirar Sakan. Oh, there's a waypoint right there. All right, well, okay. Well, we've got to fight Githyanki at the moment. Okay, so Charles Carlack Halson. So you're at the end, you're at the end. Who is the one before Shadow Art? Not you, not you, you. Veteran Raider Zuni. Maybe we should have killed the Githyanki Crush when we had the chance. Um, that's fine. It's Karlak's turn. So Karlak is going first. Let's do Reckless Attack, I suppose. 58. Are they? Oh, they're ready to parry. That's why. Oh, that's unfortunate. All right, Halson. You're going to need to... You're going to need to do a thing. And by do a thing, I mean transform into a bear. So you do that, and then I need you to break their parry. So break both of them. Okay, they're no longer ready to parry, which is great. Thank you, Bear Halson. Karlak, I now need you to beat the crap out of them. Nice job. Now I need you to do it again? That's 58. That's also 58. Yeah, you know what? Just beat the crap out of him. Nice. You hit both of them. Very good. And then go into Frenzy. Why not? She is very mad. All that matters. So how... We have the... Okay, right. What, what spells? What is this thing? Conjure us. Oh, right. We can conjure us as well as elementals. 
Right, that's level five. We don't necessarily want to do level five just yet. Magic missile, level four? Do they have any special powers? What is Gith Yankee war magic? Whoops. Um, Gith Yankee war magic. Can make it a weapon attack using a bonus action. Oh, they're a warlock. They have agonizing blast. Psionic ward? Okay, well, they're up there. If they want to do something, they're going to have to come up here. Um, hmm. How do I want to handle this? Scorching Ray level 4. That's only 60%. That's only 50%. I don't necessarily want to deal with these ones. Not with 50%. Let's do... We could set up a kill zone. No, it's fine. I want to kill as many people as possible. So let's do... Let's do a level four on this one. Because I definitely want this one dead. Okay, so that kills them. So that's a guaranteed get the Yankee down, which is good. Okay. What do these ones want to do? They have crossbows. You missed. What an idiot. Oh, okay. I apologize for calling you an idiot. How dare you critical hit me? How freaking rude. Okay, Shadowheart. What can Shadowheart do? Can you set up the insect plague up there? That would hit them both, right? It better put it up there. Because if it doesn't... If it doesn't put it up there, I'm going to be quite upset. Okay, so they've got Insect Plagued. So they're going to be taking damage from Locust. I have forced them to take damage from the Locust. And then I am going to put... It doesn't require concentration. I'm going to put Sanctuary on Shadowheart. Okay, good. And then I'm going to move her out of the way. So let's see what these guys want to do. They probably want to attack us. You're attacking Halson. Can you please stop? Please leave Halson alone. He is an innocent bear. You're not allowed to rally people. Stop that. I will take that. Ow, that did a lot of damage. You people are dangerous. You're not allowed to leave. Oh. Wait, what? Charles is still alive. What is... Pixie blessing. What is happening? Okay, Charles needs to pick up his weapon. Okay, um, this is fine. Uh, Karlek, can you just beat people up? You can continue to beat people up. Very nice. Uh, 58. You missed that one. That's fine. Frenzied strike. Okay, that's pretty good. That's a lot of damage. I will gladly take that. That's pretty nice. Um, Catch my breath. Charles, I need you to get your weapon. Where is your weapon? Can you can you pick up your weapon, please? You don't necessarily need to equip it, but you do need to have it. Um, I'll leave Halson to deal with that one. Um, we should probably do magic missiles on some of these people. Or maybe we do... Can we get a fireball up there? Um... I wonder, is that enough to hit them both? We'll have to see. Okay, that did some damage on two of them, which is great. I am not magic missling these nuts. That would be dangerous. You never, ever, ever want to magic missile these nuts. You put the entire universe at risk in that case. Should we drink a good potion? Probably. Okay, Charles is back up to full. Nice job, Charles. Can you get, like, technically out of the way? Deep and move. We shall carry the day. Okay, Halson, I need you to beat the dude. Okay, Halson, I need you to beat the dude. Okay, good. At least you managed to do that moderately well. Can you jump up there? 
I don't suppose you could jump up there, Dalson. Can you, oh, can you jump up here? You could, would that put you, that would put you into, um, the, the, the bad place. It's probably extremely stupid to have Halson jump into a swarm of locusts. I'm gonna not do that. Karlik and Halson are good on HP, so we're fine. What do you wanna do? Oh, you're Misty stepping over there. That's a bit of an annoyance. Can you please leave Charles alone? Evidently, wow, Charles survived that pretty well. That's fine. Um, neat. What can Shadowheart do? Moonbeam. Oh, you get that from the spear. Blinding shot? What is moon mode? Illuminate the area around you with wisps of moonish light that make movement difficult for enemies and bolster your allies damage. Interesting. Divine strike. Um, let's just bolt or Eldritch blast. Do we want to Eldritch blast? Potentially. Nice, 15 damage from that? I will take that. That's pretty good. Okay, hopefully Charles, oh actually, can you just heal Charles? Can you get a level four healing word on Charles, please? That's pretty good, okay, cool. What do you wanna do? You just wanna attack, um, oh wow. Arrow of many targets, that's an annoyance. Can you stop rallying people? That's so annoying. What do you want to do? Okay, people are taking damage. That's fine. And you took damage from the locusts. Okay, Karlak. How... How do we get Karlak up here? Well, she jumps. That's how. Okay, well, Karlak, you're getting up there. Beat the crap out of them. Destroy them. Nice. I need you to do that one more time and kill him, please. Nice job, Karlak. Jumping up onto roofs just to slaughter people with giant axes. I wonder if this is worth the cost. Now we can magic missile these nuts. So you can... I can probably get Halsen up there, so I want to magic missile you. Torment indeed. Magic missile, all of the damage, 44, that's fine. Uh, Charles, you need to drink more potions. Uh, drink a big boy potion. Oh, the scent of blood is in the air. Okay, Halson, can you get... I would take you a lot of movement. I could get you here. And, me. and then dashing would cost an action, unfortunately. So I think I just want to get Halson closer. I don't suppose you'd be able, you can't get there. That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Can you drink a potion as a bear? He is a big boy. Can you drink big boy potion? No. He Oh, because he has no bonus action. Why? That's okay, fine. Um Shadowheart. Fine. Halson can't heal himself. Or well, he could, but he doesn't have a bonus action to do it because he Lord forbid you actually choose willingly to use an action instead. Um We just do this. No. Honestly, I don't really foresee Shadowheart needing to do a lot. What did you just do? Why did you use Shield of Faith? That Shadowheart, what the hell, Shadowheart? I wanted you to do the ranged attack. Now you're concentrating on this. 
encase yourself with a shimmering field of magic that increases your armor. You got rid of your locust. Oh, Shadowheart, what the hell is wrong with you? Damn you, you stupid fool. <sighs> Fine. Whatever. Critical mit. You are a waste of space. I am replacing you with Dame Aelin the first chance I get. Ugh. Ugh. It'll only take one or two more years. Then you'll have to sit in the corner of shame. Oh, yeah. I'm sure if you have the patience to save your points up for that amount of time. Go for Halson, why don't you? Why would you Misty step over there? You know what? Please hit Shadowheart as much as you can. Because it's annoying. Form of Dread. What does that do? Well, Carlac's fine. Carlac can deal with her, I suppose. I'm patient. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how patient. We will see. I have no idea what form of dead does. Or form of dread. 15 temporary hit points and can't be frightened. Each time she attacks a foe, they can become frightened. Lovely. Well, enraged. Reckless attack. Reckless attack. You stupid fool. Your form of dread means nothing to women like Carlac. Halson, time to prove your... Where did they go? Halson, time to prove your immense worth. Beat the shit out of them. Great. Now do a multi-attack and kill them. Do. Yes, he was. That fight was... Shadowheart, I am upset with you, Shadowheart. Now oh, you have so many things, uh, Carlac. I need you to do the looting. You have so much stuff in your inventory. But it's fine. It's fine. Veteran warrior, brandish the uh, things. M Matthew, more things. What else? Oh, there was one up at the top. Can you jump up here now? Can everyone else climb up here? Potentially. Oh, and now you're encumbered. Wait, can you open these doors? Where are you going? Oh, you could just, you could have just, oh no. What is in there? Mushrooms? <gasps> Mushrooms. I suppose I will take the mushrooms. Because what could possibly go wrong? One can never have enough mushrooms. What was that damaged support pillar? I don't want to damage the pillar in case the entire ceiling comes down on us. You have so many suits of armor. Send them to camp. I'll sort... God, there's so much stuff with the inventories to sort through. Talk about massive pains. No time to rest. Let's get everyone healed up. Cool. Where is that big lady? Because she had special stuff, didn't she? You. Chirari Sakanan. Ooh, the Her Herachnic Her Herachnir Bracers. Quicken the Mage Hand. You can cast a Mage Hand as a bonus action. And allows me to use Telekinesis. Those are not actually good things, but you have Royal Orders. And Psionic Ward Armor. If the item detects that the wearer is Gith, they have resistance to Psychic Damage. Whenever the wearer succeeds on a saving throw against the spell, they gain 1 to 4 hit points. Uh, I suppose I could give that to Lazel. Right now it's going to camp. What about the royal orders? Do what has been asked of you. Stop the interlopers. Take back what is mine, else your punishment will be severe by order of your queen. What a waste of my time. All for bracers that mean nothing. Charles, I need you to equip your thing. Where is the mace? Here, set the slot. The mace needs... I have so many magic spells. Can I learn any magic spells? Where did I get a black diamond? 
I think I bought it from someone, but I have no idea who. Um, this needs to go there, there. No, this needs to go there. This needs to go there, and this needs to go there. Got it. Okay, well, there is a waypoint, and I have discovered the waypoint. So, hopefully, we can find Maul along this road, because we have not... The Shadow Curse will soon be forgotten, thanks to us. That is true. But, like, we can't forget about Dame Aelin, because she did some important stuff as well. Looks like an army marched through here. Really? Really, Charles? I wonder what illithid-powered, elder-brain-fueled, undead army from the Absolute would have possibly marched through here. To Baldur's Gate. Oh, it's just an area. It's not actually a thing to explore. This is literally just the road over and out. Oh. I thought there would be like a giant camp where we'd have to find a mall. Well, now I'm curious. Or, well, not really curious, but like, what else is there to do? Where is Zevlor? I need to find Maul. Um, maybe we'll find her on the way to Baldur's Gate. I am just going to hope and pray that we find her on the way to Baldur's Gate, because I have no idea where she is in here. Find Zevlor. We should find out more. Where the hell is Zevlor? Even if I found the man's corpse at this point. I, like, I need a lead. I have no idea. Gather your allies. What? Recruit allies in the fight against the cult? Freeing ourselves of the parasite is proving more difficult than we imagined. We should be on the lookout for powerful allies. We'll likely need them in the fight to come. Halson is grateful for our help protecting the sanctity of life. We can count on his. Formidable druidic powers. Right. Volo has become a most loyal ally? His powerful words of encouragement are sure to be at your backs in the trials of come. Okay, of all of the people that we have helped thus far, we have successfully secured the help of Halson and Volo. This world is officially doomed. I need to find Halson. Where the hell is Zevlor? We didn't actually go up here. I didn't explore super, super thoroughly. That might be worth a look. So maybe Zevlor is just around here? And then it's entirely possible he's back in Moonrise, but I really don't want to go back to Moonrise. The frame rate is non-existent. I'll take the stuff, I guess. Now I'm encumbered. Go back to camp. I have so much loot, I don't know what to do with it all. Skeleton. Watcher shield, what? Advantage on perceptions checks. Neat. Uh, give these to the cave bear. Oh, scout's note and assassin's short sword? Advantage on stealth checks. Interesting. Send that to camp. What does the scout's note have to say? Gerald, I want you to infiltrate the outpost from the ridge. I'm certain your sword will make sor short work of any obstacles. Let's take the initiative in this fight. Hadley. Unfortunately, I think he did not live up to your expectations. And they died. Let's go to Last Light and see if anything's changed over there. Because I don't n n think it would, but I'm curious all the same. Because there's nowhere around, and it's still stealing. Unless Damon's still here? I don't see why he would. He's not here. Is there anyone around? Map of the Shadowlands. There's no one around. Which means I could steal everything that I want. Like the lance board. This is now mine. I now am the proud owner of a chessboard. Let's go... Oh, wait, there's someone around. 
I see a green dot, which means there's someone around. I'll, I'll loot Isabel's room in a minute. If someone's around, where is Featherfall? Who's around? Mirkon, what the hell are you doing here? You're like the only person in all of Last Light. Why are you still here? The light means that Ketherick will be gone soon, right? It is. I can tell by your face. It is, but why are you still here, small child? Small child, I, you, this is, I suppose it's technically safe here now, but like, why are you still here? What a stupid kid. Let's go raid Isabel's room. See if there's anything worth my time dealing with all of these frames or lack thereof. Wow, it is especially bad. This entire place is terrible. I really hope Baldur's Gate is slightly better. Isabel's diary. Well, she's not here to object. Ever since I returned, there's been a filth in me. I can feel it in my very lungs. I cannot get it out. It will never out. This death that reeks within me. There are some things even the Moon Maiden cannot heal. There are some things she would never accept in her devoted. I should have never come back. And yet, you did, and everything has worked out for the best, I believe. Can I have your magic bowl? A milk bowl. Why do you have a bowl full of milk? What ritual of light were you doing that required a bowl of milk? Was that your breakfast and you just forgot to clean out your cereal or something? It's probably what it was. There's nothing else around here. All right, there's nothing for us in last light. The stupid dead tieflings. Leah's to-do list. We never looted Leah's to-do list, did we? A hastily written to-do list for Baldur's Gate. Hit up Outer City for room and board, join the Flaming Fist, try not to strangle Roland. You are a bunch of freaking morons. I hope you freaking remember that. So apparently, Zevlor is down in the Obulet. Or the Mind Flayer colony, but I'm not entirely sure if we can get down there ourselves. Here, Charles, can you just run over there, please? Because there's so much looting to do. Hmm. We'll have to say. We'll have to say. Because I don't want to leave all of the stuff behind. But that would be terrible content to watch. All right, so let's not forget to put Featherfall on. This might be the only way we have back into the Obulet, and I really gotta wonder if we can even access the rest of the Mind Flayer colony from this particular place. I don't know if we can. Because I have no idea. Because, like, over there is the other area where we fought, or, well, where we found us and there's no because like I, I I explored this place very thoroughly there's no way for us to get from here over there and if we can't get over there I don't think we can find Zevlor that's most unfortunate. Hold on, let me consult with the ancient tomes. Okay, my lovely YouTube folks, I don't know where you're watching from, but I am in an altered splintered timeline at the moment. This is non-canon. It's purely experimental because I need to test about that stupid idiot Zevlor. Yeah, don't worry, I'll let you out. I technically already let you out. You gave me your bell. I already have your magic whistle or whatever. So I'm going to see if the game bugged out or if I was just truly stupidly blind. 
because we believe we have a lead on Zevlor. And we need to go ch check it. So this is the tadpoling center, and apparently Zevlor is in one of these pods. Maybe. Those are empty, those are empty, because I genuinely feel like we did all of this. Like, we, we interacted with all of these. Oh, we didn't interact with this thing, did we? Maybe not. Oh, maybe not. That's... It seems like Zevlor is not in any of these anymore. Did we have to interact with this thing like a long, long time ago? We need to go back even further along the timeline. All right, we're back even further in the timeline. And apparently, is that Zevlor? No, that is a Mind Flayer. Oh, that was Zevlor. That's, that, that's Zevlor. We, we found Zevlor. Can we... Can we get a picture of his gleaming face? There. We found him. We found Zevlor. Unfortunately for us, in the canon timeline, Zevlor has exploded into a million Mind Flayer tadpoles. He no longer exists. Sorry. Why didn't this work before? Because I literally did this. You remember the shattered windows of Alterel's High Cathedral? The burning black sky of Avernus beyond. Yeah, we literally... We, we interacted with this. In its horror, the blood war unites... Yeah, shut up. We never interacted with this neural apparatus, I don't think. Does this do anything? Unfortunately, Zevlor is going to have to die, and this is not canon. ...the connection with the device, and a chorus of static energy fills your mind. I'll show it off, but... in the room calls out hungrily from its pod, seeking release and sustenance. But there are others in the pods, those not yet infected, not yet a lithid, terrified, desperate to escape. The device is open to your tadpole's command, to your authority. Lovely. Um, sh sure, release. The cave bear approves. Oh my god, that's a lot of fighting. Four Mind Flayers, six Intellect Devours, and there are people. Uh, Manip Shugra. And M Mind Flayers. Um, this is not canon. I don't want to do a fight that's not canon, because I'm just going to reset it, and that would just take time. Man, that is wickedly unfortunate. Zevlor, my man, I am so sorry. Oh, that is, that is truly unfortunate. All right, well, as an explanation, as an explanation, the very first time we came through here, we apparently completely missed interacting with this particular neural apparatus, which is literally the only thing that we could use to save Zevlor and fight a bunch of Mind Flayers and Intellect Devourers. And because we missed this, I believe we have perpetually damned Zevlor and uh, Maul Sh Shugra. What, what is your name? Manip Shugra to death, which is unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Very, very, very unfortunate. But I can't really... Oh, and you? Who are you? Gauntlet Yiva. Anyway, that's that's unfortunate. Because we missed this, those quests to save Zevlor and everyone else are probably going to fail, which is sad. The canon timeline has... Because this is before the fight with Ketherick, and it was a coin toss on whether or not I'd go back in time just to save Zevlor if all I had to do was repeat a bunch of conversations. Because I could just speed through that, and it would be a big deal. I probably would have saved Zevlor if that was the case. But... I did go back in time far enough where it was just after the fight with Ketherick, before I left the Mind Flayer colony the first time, and then all of the pods were empty, so Zevlor was unsavable, which is unfortunate. So, even if I could get back in the Mind Flayer colony, which is unlikely in the extreme, I don't think I would have been able to save Zevlor at all, which is 
quite unfortunate. So, Zevlor, you tried your ding-dong best, but that's yet another tiefling lost to stupidity. Unfortunately for Zevlor, in this case, it's my stupidity and my blindness, my ignorance, my lack of ability to push buttons that blend in seamlessly to the environment. So, Zevlor, I will remember you fondly, but for right now, unfortunately, we all have to die. Everyone has to die in a giant ball of glorious fire, and that's that. Everyone dies. Everyone dies to giant fireballs. Let's go back to the canon timeline. I don't necessarily want to leave the Shadow Curse lands just yet. Because, like, there's a lot of stuff for me to loot. Like, I want to, I want to, I want to thoroughly comb through everything and loot properly. Huh. But there's still an hour of the stream. All right, how about this? How about this? We made a lot of progress in Baldur's Gate. On the next Baldur's Gate stream, we can actually make it to Baldur's Gate, I feel like. So, I'm going to end the YouTube video here because we're done here. On the next episode, my lovely YouTube audience, we will be going to Baldur's Gate, hopefully. I hope and pray. In the meantime, between this episode and the next episode, I will be going through the entirety of the Shadow Cursed Lands with a fine tooth comb, and I will be picking up literally everything that's not nailed down. I will be sorting out my inventory, and the next time you see me, I will have an extra 600 pounds of Rotten Tomatoes, which is going to be quite an interesting thing to store in our chest. And hopefully, maybe, potentially, we'll even have uh, a, a more clear-cut team about who we're bringing to Baldur's Gate. Lots of stuff happening between episodes because it's going to be a lot, a lot of inventory management. So, whether you watch this episode for 30 seconds or the entire thing, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you on the next episode of Baldur's Gate 3 Legend of Charles D. Greasy Wizard Necromancer Forest Gnome. Later.